Comparison of the La Paz ART versus Manila LRT, Part 1 of 2, Addressing the Perception of Slowness of an ART. For Filipinos to appreciate the efficiency of ART as a mode of mass transport, we will compare the performance of an actual ART to that of an actual LRT. Most Filipinos are already familiar with an LRT that has operated in Metro Manila for the past 40 years. For ART, there is a massive amount of information about the La Paz ART such as videos and written information available on the internet. To make the comparison as close as possible to an apple-to-apple -apple comparison, we will compare the entire ART network with that of only the Manila LRT2. This is because the cost of LRT2 is already about two times that of the entire La Paz ART network. In a previous chapter video, thousands of comments, questions, and concerns about cable cars were generated by netizens. The source of these comments were postings on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media sites. The comments and questions were consolidated as shown in the column. Short answers were provided as shown in this column. For this chapter video, we will focus on these top two comments in which netizens are most skeptical. Netizens ridicule the slow speed and capacity of cable cars. Most Filipinos in the greater Metro Manila area have ridden the LRT. The rest of the population often see the LRT operate on TV, efficiently transporting more than a million passengers per day. Whereas, most Filipinos get their information on cable cars, on TV news, and the internet. On TV, a cable car appears to be slow at 25 kph with a low cabin capacity of 10 passengers. While an LRT has a speed of 80 kph with a high capacity of 1,600 passengers. For these two main reasons, many netizens commented that the use of cable cars for mass transport is generally a crazy idea. The difference is so big that netizens are skeptical of ART. Most recommend additional LRT lines around Metro Manila. Again, these are the two major criticisms of Filipinos on ART. The first major criticism is it is slow. The speed of the 2018 ART model in La Paz is 22 kph. Five years later, the latest 2023 monocable ART can already reach up to 25 kph. There is little doubt that in the next several years, it will again increase. If you Google search average speed of a New York subway in kph, the answer is only 28 kph. This is despite its maximum speed of 89 kph. The La Paz ART average speed between stations is 22 kph. The difference is very small at only 6 kph. New York subway is only 1.3 times faster than the La Paz ART, not 3.6 times faster based on maximum speed as previously shown. The difference would become even smaller using latest model monocable ARTs. If you Google search average distance between stations in New York subway, the answer is only between 320 to 480 meters apart. This is because the core of New York is a very dense area. In Manhattan Island, the distance between stations is only between 300 to 500 meters. This is the reason the average speed here is less than 28 kph. Whereas, outside of Manhattan Island, the distance between stations is 400 meters to 3,000 meters. This is where the speed of the train can reach somewhat near the maximum of 89 kph. The weight of a large vehicle, such as a truck or bus, is significantly greater than that of a car. This means that it has more momentum and kinetic energy. 
As such, it requires more distance to be safely brought to a stop. Applying this law of physics, we can analyze the deceleration and acceleration characteristics of different types of vehicles. One of an ART's characteristics that helps negate its slowness pertains to the deceleration and acceleration. Shown here are the deceleration, stopping distance or braking characteristics of remote-controlled toy car, ART, car, BRT bus, and LRT. The lighter the vehicle, the shorter the braking distance. A remote-controlled toy car has the shortest braking distance. ART is next. This law of physics applies to acceleration. The lighter the vehicle, the faster the acceleration. A remote-controlled toy car has the fastest acceleration. ART is next. Considering only mass transportation systems, we have this comparison. ART wins both in deceleration or braking distance and in the rate of acceleration. In an ART line, about 50 cabins are rotated between stations using only one motor. In an ART network of 10 lines, as in La Paz, there will be about 1,000 cabins. In an LRT line, about 20 train sets are assigned to travel between stations. At least 16 motors are placed under each train set to move it back and forth between stations. The advantages of these ART characteristics can be observed in an actual operation of an ART. ART requires only a short acceleration and deceleration distance of about 15 meters. Once it leaves the station, an ART is already at its maximum speed. It only needs to decelerate when arriving inside the station. The speed of the cabin between stations is constant, so the maximum speed of an ART of 22 kph is also the average speed between stations. In an LRT, the acceleration is slower than that of an ART because of its heavy weight. It also needs to slow down during sharp curves. Within about 1 to 2 minutes after departing the station, the train needs to decelerate as it prepares to stop at the arriving station. There is no opportunity to use a speed near its maximum speed of 80 kph between two stations. The average distance between stations in LRT2 is 1.5 kilometers. Near maximum speeds can only be attained when the distance between stations are between 2 to 3 kilometers, as in the suburbs of a city. Metro Manila, being the densest city in the world, will unlikely have these kinds of distances between stations. The average speed is estimated to be about 35 kph. Furthermore, Acceleration and deceleration must be made gradual as most of the passengers in the train are standing. They are packed like sardines during peak hours. Sudden acceleration and deceleration can cause the packed passengers to fall down, causing injuries. The average speed of the LRT2 train is only 35 kph, compared to 22 kph. Of the La Paz ART, it is only 13 kph higher than the La Paz ART, not 45 kph. We now compare the current installation of the La Paz ART and Manila LRT2 in terms of speed. Because the declared speed of an LRT is 80 kph, and the travel of an ART is very slow on TV, it is perceived by the common layman that LRT is 3.2 times faster than an ART. In real-life conditions and in terms of travel speed between stations, LRT is only 1.6 times faster. This can easily be offset by the unique characteristics of an ART. ART compensates its speed deficiency through shorter travel distance and no waiting time. We will first tackle shorter travel distance. We will use the actual installations of the ART in La Paz, Bolivia and the Manila LRT. 
These are the existing three LRT lines in Metro Manila. If an ART was installed along the alignment of LRT2, the savings in travel distance would be small because LRT2 is generally straight. An example to highlight the advantage of a similar rail-based transportation is the Kuala Lumpur monorail in Malaysia. The pathway of the monorail passes along curvy roads. If ART were installed instead of a monorail, the advantage of ART would be much bigger. ART does not need to follow a road. In most cases, it is not installed along roads. Instead, it takes shortcuts. Unlike LRT, which needs to be installed on top of a road alignment. Because of the ability of ART to be placed anywhere, it has more freedom to choose an alignment that will have a high ridership. An example is the 10-line ART network in La Paz, Bolivia. So, if you look at the alignment of the 10 lines in La Paz ART, there are only two areas where it follows a road. The first is part of the blue line. The second is part of the white line. The total length of the two lines at 4.2 kilometers is only 14% of the total network. In the balance of the 86%, the ART flies over buildings. Other ARTs in the world follow a similar pattern. These are the photos of the two lines previously shown of the ART traveling along a center line of a road that is flat. Most of the time, the ART just flies over buildings as shown in this example between two stations. This is another photo of ART flying over buildings between two stations. If it were another mode of transport, it would have to follow a road which in this case is much longer. This is a passenger cabin view of the red, orange, and white ART lines flying over the city. Whenever two lines meet, there is an interchange. The next item in which ART compensates its speed deficiency is no waiting time. Waiting time for a jeepney in Metro Manila's busy streets average about 1 to 2 minutes. But jeepney is not a mode of mass transport and has a very low capacity. We look at waiting times of the four different types of mass transport that is already available or could be soon available in Metro Manila. This is an example of BRT passengers waiting for the bus to arrive. The entire platform is currently empty of buses as shown by these closed doors. A bus will soon arrive at this door since passengers are converging at the door. Arrival times of buses are shown on this TV monitor. This is an example of LRT passengers waiting for the train to arrive. The train tracks in both directions are currently empty of trains. On this side of the passenger platform, the train may have left a few seconds ago since there are a few passengers on the platform. While on this side, the train may be about to arrive. Passengers have accumulated on the platform after waiting for several minutes. This is an example of subway passengers waiting for the trains to arrive. The train tracks are currently empty of trains. The trains may have just left at the same time since there are very few passengers on both sides of the platform. Since LRT, Subway trains and BRT buses will stop between 30 seconds to 1 minute to deboard and board passengers. Train tracks and BRT lanes are most of the time empty. In an ART, the cabin lanes are always full of passenger cabins. A continuous stream of cabins arrive as shown from the left side of this drawing and photo. Simultaneously, a continuous stream of cabins depart from the right of this drawing and photo. As a result, there will always be about six cabins that will be beside the passenger platform at all times. Thus, there is no waiting time for departing passengers. As the cabins arrive beside the passenger platform, the arriving passengers deboard from the cabins. When done, the departing passengers board towards the cabins. 
The boarding and boarding occur in a continuous motion of slow moving cabins that move from left to right. This is a side by side comparison of the waiting times of an LRT and ART. This column shows the factors affecting travel time in various modes of mass transport. BRT and others win in travel speed. ART wins in travel distance and waiting time. As a result, the travel times of ART and other modes of mass transport tend to be equal. This negates ART's adverse perception of longer travel time because it is too slow. The second major criticism of Filipinos on ART is low capacity. This will be discussed in the next chapter video of this two-part series.